Come on in, Jack. I'm just practicing sitting. Tracy, why did you never try to find your father? Because he's dead. How do you know that? Because I'm rich, and if that man was alive, he'd be living in my pool house, and I'd be paying him $200,000 a year to mow my lawn. Exactly. That's all family is, a drain. I feel like you're not telling me something, Jack. Let me guess. You bought a sidecar for your motorcycle, and your dog won't stay in it. No, Tracy. I found out I don't know who my father is, and I'm not sure I ever want to know. Why? Jack, every man should know his father. That's easy for you to say. No, it wasn't. I struggled through that sentence. But I know what I'm talking about, because not long ago, a son I didn't know about found me. <sighs> what? My love child tracked me down. I was shocked, scared, angry, like a dog in a sidecar when it comes loose from the motorcycle. But it turned out to be one of the best things that ever happened to me. Huh. Thanks, Tracy. And you know who else loves Deal Breaker? Brett Michaels. We have the same publicist, and she said he'd love to come here and dress in the same outfit and do it with me. And also, he wants to be on the show. You know, they used that catchphrase on Sports Center last night. Rangers on the power play. Oh, Avery, that's a Deal Breaker, ladies. <laughs> this is it. This is a defining thing of my life. It's not going to be that hit and run. Yeah, calm down. Oh, Liz, try to imagine how excited you would be if something of yours blew up like this. This is mine, Jenna. I wrote it for you, remember? Right, it's ours. That's what I meant to say. There's a reason you're the writer. <laughs> Everybody gather up. Actor announcement. No, human announcement. There's something I want you all to hear directly from me before you read about it in next month's issue of Black Entrepreneur and Butts Magazine. I have an illegitimate son. Ah, <gasps> feigned surprise. Obviously, my family and I wanted to keep this private, but somehow those vultures in the media found out about it. Like a dog in a sidecar when it comes loose from the motorcycle, but it turned out to be one of the best things that ever happened to me. Huh. Thanks, Tracy. So, should we continue our interview? Oh, no! Now, I didn't know about this boy up until three years ago, but I've been supporting him financially ever since, and I want you all to meet him. He's here? I want you bastards to meet my bastard, my baby boy, Donald Jordan. Hey, how's it going, y'all? Pop, can I have $1,000 for something I need? Well, as long as it's for something you need. I love you, man. I love you, dear. No way, that's Tracy's son, right? That guy is scamming him. Maybe, Donald did look pretty old. I know, but I do have a hard time telling ages with black. Shoes are the best kind of shoes. How old do you think I am? 25. 50. I am 33. How old do you think Samuel L. Jackson is? 25. 50. Mr. Jackson is 61. Wow. Okay, what about this? Maybe Donald is Tracy's son because maybe Tracy is 60. No, that's ridiculous. Think about it. He can't rap. He has diabetes. A lot of his friends are dead. He falls asleep in chairs. He doesn't know how to use a computer. He's always mad at the TV. His favorite show is NCIS. He might be 70. Or he's getting scammed. Why won't this stupid gizmo do what I want? I'm going to miss the lotto drawing. Hmm, hey. Tracy, you were 39, right? Of course. Why would I lie about my age? I'm in the entertainment industry. Right. Hey, you know, Liz and I were just talking about that old Rob Bass song, It Takes Two. Yeah, everybody our age knows that song, right? Ladies love me, girls adore me. I mean, even the ones who never saw me like, like the, the way, way that, that I rhyme at a show. show. The, the reason, reason why, why man, I don't know, know so let's go, cuz. It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. Not familiar, but what about this song? Gee, it's great after being out late, walking my baby back. How old are you? 39. Well, if you're 39, how old do you think Donald is? I'm 21. Right, Dad? Yes, you are, son. That's what that birth certificate you printed out for me said. Hey, you got that check for me? Of course. And I left the amount blank, just like you asked. Donald's opening a dojo. Mm-hmm, yeah, I'm gonna teach karate and whatnot to kids, or whatever. But starting a small business is expensive? I bet it is. Hey, remember this song? If it a fair maiden a night chance to see. 
Us tried his fair steed to spy. Miss Lemon, the contest winners are here. <gasps> My three dads. 